안녕하세요. Welcome to Talk to Me in Korean and this is an introductory video for our course Learn to Read and Write in Korean. This is a course for absolute beginners who want to learn how to decipher the Korean characters and figure out how to read written Korean words. And you know what? The good news is Hangul, the writing system of the Korean language, is not that hard to learn. And even better news is that we will make it even easier for you to learn Hangul with this course. To sit down and watch all the lessons in this course in one go, you will only need an hour or so. And even for more practice, you will probably need just a few hours in total until you become confident in reading and writing in Hangul. Of course, you will have to study a lot even after mastering Hangul, but learning the written characters in a clear and effective method will help you achieve your Korean skill goals much faster. In this course, we will introduce all the characters in the Korean writing system, Hangul, in a way that's easy for you to understand and easy for you to remember the letters for a long time. So for example, look at this letter, Miem, it's a square shape that has all four sides closed, right? Therefore, it symbolizes the sound of M, M, like the alphabet letter M does with your lips closed. And by combining it with other vowels, which will help you understand as well, like this one, for example, which has the sound of e, e, you get syllables like me, m, mu, etc. So don't worry if you know absolutely nothing about the Korean language and just jump right into this course and learn with us. We'll help you become a master of Hangul much faster than you think. Then I will see you inside the course. 감사합니다. Welcome to Talk to Me in Korean's Learn to Read and Write in Korean. This is lesson one of this course on the writing system of the Korean language, which is called Hangul. Once again, Hangul, and I am your host for this course, Hyunwoo Sun or Sun Hyunwoo in Korean. Through this course, you will understand how to read Korean letters and know how to pronounce most new Korean words you encounter. Of course, taking this course alone won't automatically make you fluent in Korean or even have perfect pronunciation, but you will at least have a solid foundation for your future Korean learning and you will be able to rely less and less on romanization and just read everything in Hangul as is. So again, Hangul is what we are learning through this course and that's the name of the writing system of the Korean language. Hangul. And once you understand the rules of Hangul, you will also be able to read hundreds if not thousands of Korean loan words. Loan words are words that came from other languages, mainly English, and you will be able to guess their meanings. So if you are ready, let's begin lesson one. In this lesson, we are going to learn one consonant and some basic vowels. If you're not familiar with the terms consonants and vowels, really quickly, vowels are sounds like a, e, i, o, u, and consonants are sounds like s, t, k, f, etc. And while referring to these consonants and vowels in the Korean language, we're going to call them letters or characters. They're the same thing in this course, and the actual blocks that the letters form are going to be called syllables. Syllables, okay? Please keep that in mind. And another thing that you need to remember before you learn more Hangul is that Korean letters, Hangul letters, are written in square blocks. What does that mean? You can always look at a Korean syllable or a Korean letter, or you know, you know, syllables in this case specifically, and divide it into at least two or more components that are put together to form a square boxy shape. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. Look at this letter here. It says A. Ah, A. Ah. You don't have to be able to read it now. Just repeat after me. A. Ah, A. Ah. As you can see, it can be divided into the left hand side and the right hand side, and it forms a box. The left character is a consonant, and the right character is a vowel. Now, how about this one? U. U. The circular character at the top is a consonant and the character below it is a vowel. If you compare a and u, the vowel in a is a vertically long shape, so it won't fit into a box if the vowel is below the consonant, so it sits next to it. For the same reason, since u is a horizontally long vowel, relatively speaking, 
it's placed below the consonant, okay? Another example, san, san. The first letter is a consonant, and the second letter is a vowel, and below this combination, you see another consonant. To fit everything into this square section or space, you write the upper two letters in a slightly shorter form. So that's all you need to know for now, and let me just show you some more variations of Korean syllables. You don't have to memorize anything, just take a look at them for reference for now. Let's learn some basic vowels now. So in the Korean language, there are 10 basic vowels and then there are compound vowels, several vowels put together as one. And for now, we are just going to look at these six. To a complete beginner's eye, these letters might look very random, but they do share certain common elements and they can be understood fairly logically. Within these six vowels, as well as some other Korean vowels, you will find these three elements. The long horizontal line represents the earth or land, and the small dot represents the sky, and the vertical line represents a human being. You combine these three elements to form various types of Korean vowels like this. For example, by putting the dot either above or below the horizontal line, you see two possibilities, this one or this one. In modern Korean, for convenience, instead of just drawing a dot, you simply draw an attached line like this instead of a dot, okay? So if you're following me so far, you're now ready to learn your first Korean vowel, and it is this one. One very easy way to remember the sound of this vowel is to imagine it as the mouth of an unhappy person. Just imagine two eyes above it, like that. Uh, you're not very happy about whatever it is you're seeing, so you go uh, like that. <laughs> now, in real life, you don't have to emphasize it so much, so just make the sound a little more comfortably. Okay, so uh, 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 and you don't have to be unhappy about anything. Uh, okay, this uh sound doesn't really exist in English, but it's very commonly used in the Korean language, especially when you learn loan words from other languages. So when there is a standalone consonant in the word, like box or card, you can add the sound at the end to make it Koreanized, like box or card. So it's very useful to know. Again, what kind of face? An unhappy face. Uh, uh. Practice and remember. Now, moving on to the next vowel, it's this one, a vertically long line. An easy way to remember this is to think of it as the capital alphabet letter I. Similar, right? I. And as you know, sometimes the letter I can be pronounced like E, E, right? Although it's more like E, as in read or speed, you can see the similarity between the sound of E, the Korean vowel, and the alphabet letter I. Remember the Korean vowel E as the sound E. And so far, you have learned two vowels. In actual usage, though, Korean vowels are rarely used alone without a consonant. You know what sound it's supposed to make, but it's just not natural because there's always a consonant before a vowel in actual usage, or at least a placeholder consonant. This one, this circle-shaped consonant, is actually exactly that. It's called iung. The name of this consonant is iung, and you don't have to know that for now. And if you see it at the beginning of a syllable, it doesn't have any sound value. It's just used as a placeholder. So, from now on, let's add this particular consonant to every vowel we learn, okay? So, do you remember what sound this vowel makes? Yes, u, u. Let's write it along with the placeholder consonant, and it's u, u. Repeat after me, u, u. And remember this vowel, the vertically long line? Now try reading this one. Yes, e, e. Repeat after me, e. All right, you're doing a great job so far, and we are going to learn just four more vowels in this lesson and we'll be done. Now let's take this vowel and add, do you remember the dot element? By placing the dot element or a protruding line, you can form these two vowels, o and u, o and u. There isn't really a best way to remember these vowels, but one way I recommend is this. From the vowel u, Put your lips forward a little bit to form a circle, and you have the sound o, like this u, o. That's o, okay? And you push your lips even more forward, and the sound becomes u, like this u, o, u. 
으오 우 middle top bottom remember these vowels in this order 으오 우 okay and of course these are also written with the placeholder consonant 이응 so let's try reading them one more time 으오 우 amazing there's just one more pair of vowels that you need to learn before you finish this lesson and they are 어 and 아 just like with o and u, which branched out from u, these vowels branch out from the vowel e, e, e. Try reading these out loud with me. I'll add the placeholder consonant e young too, okay? e, o, a, e, o, a. Make the sound e like I'm doing now, e, and open your mouth a little bit more to say o, o, o. And then open your mouth a little bit more, even wider, to say ah. Left to right, okay? O, oh, ah. The protruding line on the left, o, oh, right next, ah, okay? E, o, oh, ah. Middle, top, bottom, u, o, u. Middle, left, right, e, o, oh, ah. And like that, you have successfully learned one Korean consonant, which is the placeholder consonant, ing, and six vowels in this lesson. And before we finish this lesson, let's quickly review what we learned so far. The Korean writing system is called Hangul, and that's what we are learning in this course, okay? Hangul, and Hangul letters are written in square blocks. You also learned that the circular-shaped consonant, which is called Iung, is a placeholder, and you also learned these six vowels. If you need to rewatch this lesson to review, please feel free to do so. And if you understood everything clearly, we'll see you in the next lesson. 감사합니다.